And I'd like to introduce called The Shrine. Josh, lead singer, is hanging out with us uh, this morning, this afternoon. Thank you, Josh, for coming in and spending some time with us, man. We appreciate it very much. Yeah, no problem. It is an honor to hang out with you. I am a big fan of the band. I caught you guys for the first time myself personally at Rock on the Range this year. Uh, caught you doing some live stuff. It was pretty damn amazing. Your live show, it seems like you're having a lot of fun out there. Is that the case? That's the kind of way you want to put it together? Yeah, that's why we're spending our lives on the road driving thousands and thousands of miles because when you have a good night and the, the sound is right, it feels really good. That's what it's about. Yeah, tell me, it tell feels me, powerful. Tell me the origin stories of the Shrine. What's, uh, how did you guys get together? How long you been around so the people that maybe aren't familiar can start to get to familiar? Uh, we've been playing together about uh, a little over seven years now. We um, started at a party in, right on the border of Santa Monica and Venice. And... Uh, yeah, we've been jamming in my parents' garage for seven years now. Doing what you do? And, yeah, you know, touring the world and going wherever uh, wherever we can force our way in. <laughs> and, and, you know, being from L.A., doing uh, what you guys do, I imagine it can be somewhat hard maybe to stick out in a city like that, playing music. Is there a secret to how you guys got quote-unquote noticed or discovered or anything like that? Uh, persistence. And yeah. Just... Uh, you know, not really paying attention to anybody else's shit, kind of. Yeah. Just uh, finding our own scene by uh, playing wherever it would take us initially. Played at, like, Cantor's Deli on Fairfax and uh, other sort of un traditional spots. Making your mark. That's cool, man. And, you know, you guys get a chance to do that before. You are not a stranger to Boise. You have played here once before. You guys were with Clutch and COC at the Knitting Factory not too long ago. Uh, how was that show like for you guys? It's a little bit of a different sound mashup for you, but do you like maybe initiating fans that way with your stuff? Yeah, it was a good trip. Uh, we didn't get to spend too much time here. Spent most of it in the van driving. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's good to be here. Cool. Awesome. Well, we're going to have you. Thank you for coming in for an X session. We'd love to hear a song. Which one do you want to play for us first off? Uh, I'm going to do a song called Dusted and Busted. Uh, uh, that's uh, one of the first songs we did like this. Wrote a lot of songs, but this is, in a lot of ways, the first song I wrote. Um, let's see. First time doing this sort of thing without a big Marshall amp. <laughs> Time to kill, you will be late. Your heart will not survive, your soul won't wait. Your life will not stand still, your love's at stake. You pulled the carpet out, and you sealed your fate. Cause I'm not putting it down, but I'm not holding it above my head.
that I'd been living I'd surely end up dead Dusted and busted Well I've lost it all Dusted and busted Well I've got to crawl Dusted and busted Nice. That is the shrine in a Corwin Ford Coors Light X session here in Studio One X. Emphasis there. on Coors Light. <laughs> there you go. Coors playing, Light fortune cookies. <laughs> playing tonight at the Neurolux uh, with Uncle uh, Uncle Acid and the Dead Beats is going to be a hell of a show. Twelve dollars at the door tonight if, if you want to check it out. Uh, the thing that really drew me into your music and, and especially your live show, Josh, is your guitar playing. At what point did you pick it up, and then at what point did you realize, hey, I'm, I'm pretty damn good at this thing? Um. I picked up at about 13. I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> Not bad, though. You're pretty good at it. Thanks, man. No problem. I keep dude. working at it. Uh, you know, uh, one of the things that, that I love about uh, about you guys is your merch. It, it's it's amazing. Tell me the story behind the T-shirt design, specifically some of the logos and stuff that you've come up with over the years. Uh, we've got this, like, sort of mafia behind us that makes all that stuff. Yeah. And our friend, uh, friend of ours drew the wolf and gave it to us without asking. His that's, name's Chris Kirk. That's awesome. That's really cool. And, you know, as, as skateboarders, the, the band loves to skateboard and, and does that in the downtime. Is it cool to have your own deck? Is that like the epitome of, of skateboard, uh, you know, uh, merch, I suppose, for lack of a better term? Uh, better than having a Miley Cyrus deck. <laughs> yeah, I will agree with that. I will agree with that. You know, uh, the uh, the shows have taken you uh, lots of places here in the United States. You've also had a chance to tour abroad. Coolest place you've played so far, city or, or venue otherwise? Uh, being over in Japan is really, really awesome. People there are insane. They seem to, to capture and get the quote-unquote rock music style of things a little bit better than over here sometimes, right? They know how to quote. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet, man. Yeah. Uh, and uh, tell me a little bit about the Atlanta gig. You, uh, you're you playing your gig, and Norman Reedus of The Walking Dead shows up. Uh, surprised? You, you play it off cool? Starstruck at all? Anything like that? Uh, Yeah, I've actually never seen a TV show or anything that guy's been in. No? I Ever I had no idea who he was. I heard other people talk about him, but I've never, <laughs> I've never seen any of that stuff. That's cool. Uh, uh, but he, he was, he was super friendly. He was cool. Nice. Uh, is, is there a dream gig, uh, a gig that you guys have yet to play that you really want to get on on the uh, the list of itinerary at all? Well, we're hoping one day to work it up just to the core's proper <laughs> state. Stage, yeah. The original? As yeah, were, yeah. The banquet? Yeah. I like it. I we, like we've it. been on the light circuit for a long time, a couple <laughs> light years. But you guys, uh, you, you work your ass off. You're road dogs. You're, you're traveling all over the country in a van. And we appreciate you getting up early, number one, coming in here to perform songs for us, uh, number two. So thank you very much as a fan. It's awesome to see you guys in here. And uh, check them out tonight at the Neurolux. You will not be disappointed when you see the Shrine Live absolutely plugged in and in their awesomeness. Can we hear one more song from you? Yeah, sure, man. I'm trying to figure out uh, what to do is first time I've done this. Uh, uh, there's a song about, I guess, uh, paranoia. Um, like a dose of venom. In a flower seed You were so good So bad for me Like a parasite leech On a bleeding brain You were the cure But you caused more pain The demon flower Gonna get you, but you don't know when I don't think you understand I don't think you can pretend The demon flower is a killer It's gonna get you, but you don't know when I don't think you understand I don't think you can pretend Are you sad? Can you even tell? 
and flower You are the demon flower You are the demon flower Awesome. The Shrine in here for a Core Report Coors Light X session here in Studio 1X again tonight out there at NeuroLux. Uh, you're going to want to grab your tickets. Uh, better yet, and make sure you pick up the uh, band's latest effort, of course. It's called Rare Breed. It's amazing. Uh, bless off another amazing album from these guys. Hey, and when you're there tonight, buy a t-shirt, for God's sake. Help the band out a little bit and uh, enjoy some great rock and roll music. But, uh, Josh, thanks again for coming in here, man, and being a part of this. Appreciate it very Thank much. You. Throwing it back to you, Jason Drew, there in Studio 1X. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. Cool. Cool. Might have been out of town. Thank you, man. Yeah, we're clear. <laughs> so if you want to throw out a couple more songs, feel free to do what you want, man. Um, yeah, I'll just do one more just so I have the recording of it. Okay. Might fuck it up, but...